where is the rest of my prescription? That's what some Floridians want to know after a massive stockpile of hydroxychloroquine is being held at the Capitol. The show tonight celebrated the 30th anniversary of Tallahassee Youth Orchestra. These young musicians are creating their own narrative through their love of music. According to the Pew Research Center, Trump still has support from two-thirds of his base. In 1882, a group of local women donated this monument behind me to Leon County Confederate soldiers. According to Tallahassee's government website, Tallahassee Animal Services supports the practice of TNR, trap, neuter, and return. Residents should know that ear tipping is a universal sign of a vaccinated cat. This firework tent contains fireworks as small as these sparklers and as large as this force blaster. We're talking more than $20,000 in firework merchandise. Gentle giants, powerful petites. Every year, 3.3 million dogs enter animal shelters in the U.S., according to AmericanHumane.com. In Tallahassee, these playful pups were given a second chance. They need somebody to love them just as much as we need somebody to love us. Um, they're people to me, in my opinion, they're just like family. Adopt a Shelter Dog Month happens every October while shelters work to rescue hundreds of dogs to prepare for adoption. Dog owner David Phillips adopted his pet, Boomy, eight months ago. But I winged it and went and got a dog and I've been in love with this man for the past, I think, about six seven, eight months again. <laughs> Jazze Stewart has previously adopted and says her dog, Cartier, is like a child. Um, well, I think dogs are kind of like companions. Like, really, this is my child. Stewart's roommate, Imani Johnson, says adoption could change a dog's life. And dogs can be depressed and stuff, too. So, like, you go adopt them and you might change, it, you might change their life. This month, LCHS is running one of its biggest fundraisers, More Than a Rescue. The fundraiser provides funds to educate people, provide animal care, and host a pet food pantry. Leon County Humane Society dog coordinator Amy Radar wants to encourage people to open their hearts and their homes to our furry friends. Their More Than a Rescue fundraiser ends this Friday. In Tallahassee, I'm Ariane Daly for FAMU News 20. Election Day is Tuesday. For some Tallahassee residents, excited isn't even the word. Am I excited? I'm not excited. I'm delighted. On Sunday, Jill Biden, the wife of Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden, stopped by Bethel Missionary Baptist Church for a soul to the polls on the last day of early voting in Florida. Jill addressed the crowd with an emotional anecdote about her faith and her late son, Bo Biden. I had to be strong for my children and my husband, but most of all for my son, Bo. Other local leaders like Loran Osley, Diane Williams-Cox, and Tallahassee Mayor John Daly were at Sunday's event. George Floyd's family also stopped by and explained why they support Joe Biden. The world may not know the name of George Floyd, which has undoubtedly changed so much about this election. It's part of the reason I personally filmed an advertised commercial for Joe Biden. According to LeonCountyVotes.gov, more than 59% of Leon County residents have cast their vote. Many Tallahassee residents gathered outside of Bethel Missionary Baptist Church to get pumped and excited about going to the polls. Jill Biden and other local leaders led the way with song, praise, and pride. In Tallahassee, I'm Ariane Daly for FAMU News 20. Coronavirus has put a dent in many Tallahassee festivities this year, including Florida A&M and Florida State University's homecoming. But will it affect Tallahassee's tourism dollars? Honestly speaking, it's just no way to replace that homecoming crowd that we get. Back in April, city commissioners met to review a report on the impact of COVID-19 on tourist development tax revenue. Social distancing due to the COVID-19 pandemic decreased the TDT revenue, requiring both the Division of Tourism and the Council on Culture and Arts to adjust their budgets. Carrie Post explains where tourism has been hit the most. Travel suddenly and severely, I mean, just stopped. It declined. Just done. What usually consists of lots of traffic, university donations, food, and lodging is no more this fall after FAMU and FSU have to cancel. 
Food truck owner of Pine Appetit told me what he's up to since homecoming is canceled. We are actually still in business and still moving mobily with our food truck. Um, we have a weekly schedule that changes weekly. On the street behind me during homecoming, tons of vendors would be set up selling food before and after the football game for hours, bringing in tons of business. Carrie also shared with me that last year, FAMU's homecoming made nearly $3.7 million in economic impact in Tallahassee. In Tallahassee, I'm Ariane Daly for FAMU News 20.